What's up guys? Demo the Warrior here. I'm not on camera right now because I'm recording this at like 1 in the morning. But um, I was just on YouTube and the very disheartening thing I saw when I first got on the app after I had finished uploading my most recent skit, the uh, Nah, I'm Spending the Night, that one. Um, i seen this post by one of my favorite channels on YouTube, the Dare to Be Stupid Show. I don't know if any of my subscribers have ever heard of them. They're a super funny channel. I, I love their content so much. They do skits with you know, their, their most famous videos being uh, Horror Jackass, Barney versus Failed Character Auditions, all that stuff. And, you know, just their skits in general. And this message that they wrote, it, to me, it came out of nowhere. I don't know if this has been like a building thing. You know, I've seen their videos and I didn't think anything like this was going on and they posted this post talking about the truth also really quick uh sorry if it's like echoey i'm recording this in my room in my basement right now and it's under construction um so it's kind of echoing here but they posted uh this rant i guess called the truth and they were saying like they used to like love being on youtube and stuff and love like being part of the community and interacting with fans and then they went on to talk about, you know, how, like, YouTube has changed and all that, and we're talking about, basically, you know, they had to, uh, evolve with YouTube and become more kid-friendly, which is retarded, and I wouldn't do that, like, their content is kind of like the same kind of content I do, where it's meant for, like, teens and young adults, but YouTube over the years has been, honestly, especially now, just so, like, pussified and you know kid friendly and all, all YouTube is nowadays is click baiting and drama and it's all about views and subscribers and YouTube is really a shell of its former self to be honest now I'm only a person with at the time of filming this, 986 subscribers, which is something I never thought I would have on any platform, and I'm thankful for everybody who has subscribed to me, but, you know, I'm happy that I'm close to a 1,000 subscribers, and I, I do want to do a milestone video for that, but the truth is, like, I don't want to make it seem like my subscriber number is, like, the most important thing to me, because it's really not, like... It's amazing that I'm almost at a thousand, but it's not like my main priority. My main priority is putting out like good content that I'm passionate about and that I know you guys will love and like doing skits and projects that I really want to like put my all into and like, you know, um, really get good with my editing, you know, keep, keep making my editing better, keep improving it with every skit I do, you can even see from some of my earlier skits to now, like how I've improved with editing, camera quality, setup, you know, stuff like that. But that's, that's my main priority on, the, on uh, YouTube. Uh, to be honest, I don't really think I'm ever going to be a big channel. You know, everybody always inspires to be, but for most, it doesn't happen. And with YouTube these days, it's not a thing that I see happening with me, but uh, back to the point of this video talking about, uh, Dare to be Stupid show. I fucking love these guys. Like, for the longest mm -hmm. time, I don't know why the fuck my phone is vibrating, fuck off. But, um, for the longest time, I always thought the guy that played Billy in the Barney vs. series, I always thought that he was, like, the guy running the channel, but I guess he's not, I'm not, I don't know who exactly runs the channel, but, you know, like, he's, I guess, the most popular person on the channel, I, per se, he's the one who shows his face the most, I guess, but, 
for the longest time I thought it was him that was running the channel, but from what they put in their message, they said uh, the the actor who plays Billy has left the channel and is not going to return, which is really disheartening, man. It really is. It, it's a shitty situation, and YouTube is just honestly fucked everybody. Like, it's been a real change, you know, over the past couple of years. I've seen all these YouTubers all of a sudden, you know, now they're, they used to be all YouTube, and now, nowadays, they're shouting out other stuff like Patreon, and, you know, their merch sites, and all this stuff, because, realistically, that's the only way they can make money, and, you know, it sucks. It really sucks when, you know, YouTube is people's, you know, livelihood and full-time job, and, it, it, you know, they're basically just fucking them, and, you know... YouTube fucks them on views and subscribers and all this stuff, which fucks their uh, paycheck, which fucks their lives. And it sucks. And I don't know why YouTube had to become this way. I don't know. I don't I don't have any information on YouTube. I'm not one of these, you know, uh, YouTube journalists or anything like that. You know, I keep saying you know a lot, but you know... Um, you know, I just, I just go by what I see and from what I've heard from others. And to me, it just seems like YouTube is, uh, you know, it got popular, but the best way I can explain it is YouTube. It seems like they have forgotten the reason that they became popular in the first place. It seems as if, you know, YouTube is really just went so far away from what they were in the first place, so far away from what what they said they were, what they wanted to be, what they set out to be when they created it. And now they have just been so pussified. It, you know, it's not even YouTube, though. It's like, like, I could literally do, like, a whole fucking podcast on this, but it's it's not YouTube. It's It's, like, the whole fucking world, man. It's just so much sensitive shit going on with all these communities and all this gender stuff and everything that's going on. And the world has become, like, so pussified and, you know, everybody's just overly sensitive about everything when there's really no need to be. And it really sucks. For some reason, we live in a day and age where every single person lives and dies by their opinions and people follow other people like sheep and to be honest the whole the whole online world is just is just disgusting to be honest if i'm being if i'm being blunt with you it's it's disgusting but uh back to the dare to be stupid show what well the point i was making about youtube is youtube has just become so pussified they've moved away completely from what they were and then they made themselves more mainstream and it, it just sucks it really does the content has become kid friendly if it's not kid friendly then they won't put advertisers on your video then you don't make money and it's fucking everybody out of their paychecks and livelihoods and you know that's a that's a huge issue it's been going on for a while now and it seems like from most cases I've watched and heard, YouTube just doesn't give a fuck. You know, their whole system is fucking stupid. They don't, it seems like they just don't give a fuck about anything but themselves and the money they make. Now, I'm not trying to be heinous or, you know, trying to make you believe my opinion, but I just go from what I see. But, uh, yeah, YouTube nowadays, all it, all it really is is just cl all this clickbait content for kids. That's where all the views are coming from. All these stupid fucking retarded kids. I'm sorry if I'm being offensive. I don't give a, a fat fuck if I'm being offensive. Grow up, grow a pair, and move on. Instead of going in my comment section or hitting me up on social media complaining, complaining about things I say, man the fuck up, and just be done with it. There's no reason, 
it, like everybody in this world is like you you say one thing people take shit out of context people blow shit way up they take it to levels it's not even you wouldn't even think it would go to they blow things way out of proportion because they're so fucking sensitive you know if you don't like what i'm saying then fuck off and go somewhere else that's just the straight facts like I may make some people mad with what I'm saying, but it's the truth. You know, it's what I feel. It's what I'm thinking. And if you don't like that, at least listen to what I have to say and then make the judgment for yourself. And if you don't agree with what I'm saying, that's fine. Leave. Because I don't need you here. I don't need all this oversensitivity and negativity around my channel. That's not what my channel is. That's not what I'm about. None of that. I'm just telling you the way I feel about things, the way I feel about YouTube, and everything. But YouTube fucking is terrible nowadays. All it is is clickbaited content for kids. All these dumb fucking kids who are, you know, kids are, kids are innocent. Kids don't know better. They click on this content thinking they're going to see all these naked women and you know, I, I've seen so many videos of people, like, doing this Fortnite stuff, like, oh, strip challenge, oh, uh, remove all clothes challenge, and it, it's sickening. It really is. And you know why the people that make those videos make them? Because they know that it's fucking easy money. They know that the kids are going to fall for it. it it's sickening. But yeah, it's clickbaited content like that, or, or, it is mindless, just no passion, just lazy videos, like, uh, NNA Productions, that fucking dude, that is the kind of content that, that has killed the site and infected the site, that kind of stuff, I cannot stand people like that, and then you got all these YouTubers that make content like that, all these 24-hour challenges, and couples challenges, and all this fucking complete garbage content, and I don't understand how people watch it, or are entertained by it, I'm, their audience is all kids, that has to be the answer, that's where all these views are coming from, you see these channels, they get billions upon billions of views on stupid shit like that, meanwhile, you got channels like um, Dare to be Stupid show and all these other channels where people are putting their heart and their passion into this because they love it. They put their money, their lives, their love into making these videos. But YouTube just doesn't give a fuck. YouTube would rather push kid-friendly, sensitive, con uh, unsensitive content than push creators that actually fucking care. They would rather push people to the top that don't give a fuck, that try to make easy money on this site, it, that put out the most lazy, uninspired, just loveless content, when the creators who actually give a fuck about what they're doing, they give a fuck about their audience, and give a fuck about what they're making. I'm not trying to yell right now, but this is like a topic that can get me real heated. Um, you know, that YouTube just doesn't care about them, and that's sad. And, you know, people always say, oh, they could, you know, let's all go to another platform. The, the, the sad truth is, is you're never going to get enough people to go to another platform to even compete with YouTube. And that's the sad reality of the situation. I don't understand why the world has to be the way it is. Why people are so fucking sensitive and you have all, all this rights for everyone crap and it, it it's just it's ruining the world it's to making it toxic but i'm not here to talk about that i'm here to talk about dare to be stupid show and youtube i'm just saying because of the way the world is and it, it it's all this online stuff that is it, it's sickening and it's just making things worse the more this kind of stuff goes on, the worse the internet is going to get, the worse YouTube is going to get, and, you know, all these other apps people use. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. But, back to Dare to be Stupid show. I, you know, I read your guys' rant, I read the whole thing, and 
it, you know, it nearly brought a tear to my eye because I've watched you guys for so long. You know, I watched the original horror jackasses. I watched through all the years of all the, like, I wasn't even just exclusive to the Barney skits, which is like the most popular thing. I was watching all the skits because they're all funny. Like all the videos you guys do, the comedy is freaking gold. It's funny. It, it, you can tell that there's passion into it. They, you know, they pay for costumes and, you know, you can tell how hard they work on it and just YouTube just gives them no compensation. They even set it themselves. They get barely any views. And, and you know, like, it's, it's sad because I went on their channel and right now they have 244,000 subscribers. But yet they only get about 1,000 views, 2,000 views max. And that is sad. And that's not their fault because I'm sure they're tagging their videos. They're trying to, you know, push, uh, push it out. And it, you, it's just YouTube not pushing their video, maybe not, I don't know if they're monetized or not, I have no idea on that situation, I don't know about any of that, but it, it's obvious that their videos aren't getting views, it's not because the videos are bad, the videos are great, you, some of the best editing work I've seen, you know, there's always room for improvement, but that goes for everyone, including myself, you know, it's a, it's a learning process, and over the years, you become better and better. But it's hard to do that when the site, and pretty much for some people, your employer doesn't let you or just doesn't give you enough money to be able to improve your content or doesn't, you know, monetize your videos so you can't, you know, get the funds that you need to get better equipment, get better stuff, to make better content. And... Because of that, and because of people getting low views, people become uninspired, they become depressed, they, you know, they just become unmotivated. And it sucks, it really does. And a channel like Dare to be Stupid Show, I'm really sad to see them in the state they're in, because a lot of times when I was in a bad place, I would watch some of their skits, and they would just be so silly, and just so sometimes nonsensical, and so just out there. And it was just so funny, and it, you know, it brought a smile to my face and warmed my heart, to be honest. So in some of my darkest times, they were one of the few things that kept me going. And it really sucks to see them go. And I don't know if they'll ever see this. I doubt it. But if they are to ever see this, which, like I said, I highly doubt they would. I just want you guys at Dare to Be Stupid Show to know. I don't know all of you. I know, you know, some of the actors that have played in the skits. I, I don't know everybody's names or anything like that, but the whole team, the whole crew that has worked there, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all the amazing skits that you guys have done, to, for the funny content you guys have made. Thank you for putting your passion and heart into what you've done. And I'm sorry that YouTube... Just, you know, you've given so much to YouTube, you put so much of your passion into it, and YouTube's just not giving you anything back, and I, I'm just sorry, you, you know, I'm, so, I'm sorry for you guys, but thank you for all that you've done. As a fan of your channel, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the content you've made. I don't know if you guys are going to not be uploading anymore, I don't know what that situation is, it didn't specify in the rant, but... If that's true, then thank you guys for all you've done over the past, I don't even know how many years you guys have been on YouTube, probably over 10 years, I'd say. I don't even know at this point, to be honest, but thank you so much. I'm really sad to see you guys go. I really am. Like, I just can't believe, like, I never thought I would see... A message like that from you guys I never thought that in a million years that I would see that you know but I, I you know there's a truth that everyone hides and you know you just try to live through it get through it but then sometimes you know you just got to let the truth out and as in this situation they let the truth out about the situation that's going on and I'm just sorry to hear what you guys are going through and all your troubles and if I was a big YouTuber with, like, if I was on, like, KSI level, I would, 
I would fund you guys. I would, if I had that kind of platform, if I was in that type of situation, I would help all these creators. I really would. I really and truly would. I would help all these creators that are putting their heart and their passion into this. I really would. It sucks that I don't have a platform like that. But that's really something that I would do, truly and honestly. I would, I would, I would totally help Dare to Be Stupid show. I would help all these other channels. I would. They wouldn't need to worry about funding or anything if I was on like a KSI, PewDiePie, that kind of level. You know, I I would I would give back to the creators because if YouTube isn't going to pay these people, if YouTube isn't going to help these people, then who is? Now, I'm never going to get to that level, but if I were to ever be on that level, I don't want to give people empty promises, but if I ever were to be on that level, that is what I would do because as a content creator myself, I know where a lot of these people are coming from, where you put hours of your time into editing and hours and days into editing and the struggle of recording sometimes, the struggle of, you know... Well, for me, it's not really views because I'm not really a big enough channel to even, like, worry about views yet. But I, I can see the struggle. And I hate I hate it so much. It Like, I really don't understand why all the stupid, dumb shit in this world is the most popular stuff. But the stuff in this world that actually matters and the stuff in this world that actually has passion and love into it just gets shit all over. I really don't understand why things are like that and it really fucking bothers me it really does and it really sets me off because this world is just not fair it really just is not fair you know all these people complain about youtube and complain about the state of social media the state of the world but i've yet to see somebody actually fucking do something about it People make jokes about how bad it is, but the reality is people really can't do anything about it because nobody's really big enough to do anything about it. Even PewDiePie can't really do anything about it. And I saw this thing, I don't know if it's true, but saying that it was this thing saying that a T-Series passed PewDiePie and that whole thing, which shouldn't have even been a thing. But I guess it was this big thing. I, I mean, I'm probably the only person that freaking is late on this, but was this thing of like a T-Series is like a, a YouTube created channel is what people were saying. And YouTube wanted once their created channel to be the most subscribed channel on YouTube. And PewDiePie is the chant. It was like the person standing up for everybody on YouTube and standing up for the, uh, the people and the fans. And like, it was like, the people versus the corporation, I guess, is what people made it as. And I guess T-Series has passed PewDiePie. From what I, this thing I saw, I don't know how true it is, but that's it's really sad. It, it really is sad. You know, this world has become all about money and all about... It really, really, money makes the world go round. And I, I've learned that. And I fucking hate that. I hate it with my guts. Money makes people do a lot of bad things. A lot of bad things. I'm getting kind of all over the place, but I just really fucking hate the way the world is now. I really do. And sometimes I feel like I'm one of the only sane people left in it. But maybe I'm not. I don't know. You know, I just, I really just fucking hate seeing all these people struggle, all these people going through hardship, you know, life shouldn't have to be like this, but, but we've made it like this, but somehow we can't make it better. People are out there working, trying to make it better, but it's not enough. It sucks as a race. How, how terrible we've made this planet, how terrible we've made our lives for everyone, how terrible we've made this country, how terrible we've made the internet. 
the internet started off so innocent. I never thought it would turn to all this. You know, I just, I, I just don't know how much worse it can really get. Jesus, I've been going for about, what, a half hour, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. Jesus. But, I don't know. Maybe I could do a longer video on this someday. But, uh, Dare to be Stupid Show, this video is about you guys. I, I fucking love you guys. I, I, I want to tell you guys to keep your channel and to keep going. I really want to tell you that from the bottom of my heart. I want to tell you guys to keep going, but... You know, if you guys really feel that, that, you know, you guys need to stop and if you guys really feel like you don't want to do it anymore, then, then do, do what you guys feel that you need to do because it's not your guys' fault. And I saw in the, in the, uh, rant that you guys had said, well, whoever wrote it, I don't know, but that you guys have said that you guys changed to become kid friendly, but your content was for teens slash young adults, so it didn't mesh well. So then you had, uh, actually, let me go to it so I can, oh my God, my screen is bright. Jesus, ow, oh my eyes. I'm sorry. Oh my God, that was bright. Ah, I'm sorry, this room I was in was freaking, Almost pitch black and I touch my phone and I just get freaking flash bang by my freaking... Oh my god, that hurt. Um, anyway, so you said people were pretty much watching for Barney, the Barney versus stuff and the uh, people were saying that it's a Super Mario Logan knockoff, which I don't understand. And that's another thing that, you know, I've never really watched Super Mario Logan. I've seen, like, a few episodes, but I don't really understand how it's popular. But I guess it's kid content, and kids get enjoyment out of that. But I see adults watch it, too, and I'm not hating on Super Mario Logan or anything. But, you know, to each his own with that kind of content, I suppose. But, like, I don't know, people have said, like, Super Mario Logan isn't even, like, the same that they used to be. Maybe, maybe they're losing passion, too. I don't know. But the person who wrote this rant said, I actually encourage people to unsubscribe. You, I, no, I don't get that. Because I'll never unsubscribe from you guys. Maybe this rant was just wrote out of, you know, anger and rage or maybe depression or whatever you're going through. But I won't unsubscribe for you, from your channel because I'm 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 loyal to your content. I will always watch your guys' videos because you guys are so fucking good at what you do. And I won't unsubscribe from you guys. I'm sorry. But here's here's uh, I mean I guess I can read this. Um, actually, the, uh, it says the truth. I used to take pride in being one of the few YouTube channels. That, you know, I, you thought I would have read this in the beginning, but uh, anyway, YouTube channels that will reply to fans and try to be a friend to our viewers. So that's the situation I'm in right now, where, you know, I have viewers that watch my streams and stuff, and I've actually talked to a few of them in DMs, and they're actually pretty nice people, but that's the thing I do worry about, is, you know, talking to subscribers because you never know who's out there you never know what kind of people they're going to be and that's something i've always been like hesitant about when when you know people will ask me like oh you want to play online with subscribers and they like try to invite me to parties to talk to them and stuff it's just like you know i don't it's no offense to anyone it's just like i don't know you i don't know like what kind of people you are it, it's nothing against you guys it's just i'm just trying to be cautious is all but anyway, so what did it get me? Abuse. When YouTube wanted this site to go more family friendly, is this thing still recording? Yes, it is. Just making sure. Um, yes, I know, phone. Fuck off. Um, when, uh, I tried, when YouTube wanted this site to go more family friendly, I tried to play ball and make the content more suitable. But all it did was bring in a kid audience to 
a channel designed for teens and young adults. This isn't the Barney channel or a Super Mario Logan knockoff. We used puppets because it was cheaper to do than hire people we had no budget to afford to get. I actually encourage people to unsubscribe. The actor who played the character of Billy is no longer on this channel and is not returning. If our fans had watched even just half of our new videos, then maybe we could have kept cast around, but no, instead we just get weird pity likes and no actual viewing unless it's one type of skit. If you are here waiting around for a new Barney versus video or a new horror jackass or a failed auditions video, then you're wasting your time here. The people who made those series are no longer with us. It is now torture to be on this website and <clears throat> excuse me to see content we produce not even get looked at or outright ignored. If even a portion of you watched half a video, then we would be fine. I hate being on this website. It's nothing but drama that punishes all creators for the actions of one or two other creators. Rant over. Now... <laughs> I don't know what to say. So it seems as if it's it's a thing that I've seen with a lot of channels where, you know, I'll throw Burleazy out there, for example. If you guys have ever heard of Burleazy, he made all these exposed videos where he would watch the intro to all, all like, you know, nostalgic cartoons and he would, like, roast them pretty much. And he got fucking popular off of it. But then what happened it is the key. And this is something I never want to happen to my channel. But a specific type of content on your channel getting popular. And people only want that. And they won't watch anything else. Only very loyal people who really and truly enjoy your stuff will watch other stuff. But basically with Berlizzi, what happened was... He probably won't admit it, I don't know. But what happened was, is his exposed videos got so popular, he shot up to a million subscribers, and then he quit doing it. Probably because he didn't like it being the one thing he did that people wanted, the one thing he did that got views. And what happened when he did other stuff? It got shit views, but when he did Exposed, it blew up. I've seen it happen to many other channels. It's a, a dime a dozen thing. It It's sad, and I really don't want that to happen to my channel. That's why I don't do, like, I try all types of different stuff, but I know that my wrestling content is my most viewed stuff. And I kind of hate that a little bit. Even though I'm a diehard wrestling fan, wrestling is my life and my passion, but, you know, I, I, especially with 2K19, I didn't want that to be the most popular thing on my channel, and I felt the effects of it, because that's all people ask for, and that's all people want to see from me. And I, I completely feel what you guys are feeling at Dare to be Stupid Show. Even though I'm not nearly on your guys' level, I have felt it. And it's not a good feeling, and I don't like it. You know, because you want to do other stuff. You want to be creative in other things besides, you know, this one thing that people want. For you guys, the one thing people want is... Um, the Barney Versus videos. The one thing people want is the failed audition series the one thing people want is the horror jackass and i don't really know why things get that way i couldn't i couldn't explain it to you because i don't know but it sucks that that happens to a lot of channels excuse me and i really hate when you see channels and you can tell that they wanted to be a gaming channel all along i hate it i hate it there's so many channels I see that get popular off one thing, like Burleazy, for example. I'm not trying to hate on Burleazy. I like Burleazy. But I'm one of those people who specifically liked his exposed videos. Couldn't tell you why. It's just none of his other content was interesting to me. Not hating on it. It just wasn't intriguing to me, I guess. But Burleazy is... It's not him specifically. It's a thing I've seen with a lot of YouTubers where they will basically 
the, the, they'll make a channel not expecting much. All of a sudden, they do one thing that blows up, especially freaking reaction channels. My God, that's a whole rant in itself. But it's a thing where they become popular for one thing. And because they're popular, they think that if they do this other thing that people are going to watch. And the sad reality is, is they're not. So these channels will make gaming channels and they'll plug their gaming channels and their gaming channels are like the most boring content stuff that i've done like playthroughs and stuff now i, I say that's boring content but i like doing playthroughs but i don't try to push it i don't say like oh go subscribe to my gaming channel because i don't i don't like doing that because i feel like that makes me i just i don't know i just don't like being like that i don't like shilling my stuff i don't like being like oh go subscribe to demo plays or you know follow me on instagram follow me on twitter you know i i i just don't like plugging my stuff i don't know why i guess i'm just a certain type of way i don't know but yeah there's a lot of youtubers that'll make a gaming channel and they'll be like oh subscribe to my gaming channel man subscribe uh go subscribe here go follow me on instagram go follow me on twitter you know, the only time I ever plug my stuff is if people will be like, hey, you got social media? I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm on uh, Instagram at the Mother Warrior if you want to go follow me. You know, stuff like that. I don't forcefully plug my stuff. But anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. But I'm, basically, I, I do have experience with that one thing that gets popular, and that's the only thing people want to see on your channel. And I don't like it either. And I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what to do about it. But I am, in, I I have felt some of your pain, and it it really sucks. It really does suck for you guys. You're one of you guys are one of the few wholesome like real channels left, because a lot of these channels are just fucking sucking YouTube's cock and freaking being kid friendly and freaking. Doing all this stuff for advertisers, doing it all for the money. And that's like what a lot of these people do. And I fucking hate it. And I guarantee you, I can guarantee you all the people who make the 24 hour challenge videos and all these clickbait videos and couples challenge videos and all this stuff. I can guarantee you they really don't give a rat's ass about their fans. They don't give a fuck about the content they make because all they give a fuck about is the money and all they give a fuck about is you guys buying their merch. A lot of channels are like that and a lot of channels have been proven to be like that. And I'm sure a lot more of them are like that but haven't been proven yet. And it's a sad, sad world. But, you know, it's not like the viewers are any better. Jesus, how long have I... Been? I don't even know how long. We've got 38 minutes, Jesus Christ. But, you know, viewers don't really help either. You know, like people saying, oh, you're a Super Mario Logan ripoff. Well, first of all, I believe that there would be Super Show has been around longer than Super Mario Logan. I don't, I don't have any information to confirm that, but I... I'm pretty sure that's true. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not hating on Super Mario Logan. I don't watch his stuff because I just never have. It's nothing against the guy. I have no issue with them. It's, you know, freaking people on the internet are just disgusting, vile, vindictive bastards. Disgusting, absolutely horrible, terrible people. That have nothing going for them in their lives. So they want to try to get online and get themselves a following. So they can hate on other people because other people are more successful than them. And doing better in life than they are. And they can't live with the fact that they're losers. People will label them as haters but that's what they are. I've had a few of my own. You know I've had my fair share of. Comments about my weight and, you know, other comments. For me, I just ignore it because I'm like, if you want to come on my video and be ignorant, just fuck you. Like, no one asked you to watch this video, first of all. Second of all, I don't know you, so what gives you the right to judge me about anything? 
Third of all, what gives you the right to make fun of me when you're probably fucking 500 pounds sitting in your basement on your computer with fucking Dorito dust all over your fingers and Mountain Dew stains on your shirt and a fucking job of the hut ass neck commenting on my videos and other people's videos. But anyway, people are fucking disgusting and a lot of viewers are like that. People troll on purpose. And they, they will literally, people will troll and then they get other people to troll with them. And sometimes they will, you know, band together against people. If one person doesn't like someone, they'll get other people to join them. Like I said, people follow other people like sheep because people in this world are fucking idiots. Mindless idiots. I've been told by some people that I'm, I guess I'm one of the realest YouTubers out there, I guess, even though I'm not like big or anything, or I'm not like any kind of certain platform or anything like that, you know, I just, what the fuck? Oh, I thought my phone fucking died, but, you know, I just am how I am, I just, you know, say how I feel, really feel about things. I don't see the point of putting on like a fake persona or a fake personality or anything like that, I just be myself, because I thought that's what YouTube was supposed to be, you know, broadcast yourself, right, you know, be yourself, make, vi make videos being yourself, you know, but I guess YouTube has just lost, completely lost its way, and I guess everybody's just forgotten about that, and everybody just puts on these fake personas, and Puts on an act for their videos and all this crap. Well, anyway, I'm getting off on another tangent. You know, you guys could have trolls. You could have other stuff. I, like I said, I don't know the exact answer for you guys. But I really just want to thank you for everything you've done. All the content you've made. Like, seriously. You guys are fucking amazing at what you do. And I will always... I will always remember... All the great videos you uploaded, all the great skits you made, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your videos helping me through some dark times. And it just really sucks to see a channel like you guys go, and it really actually kind of makes me sad. You know, to be honest, when I read that, you know, a tear came to my eye because I was like, no, not them too. Not them. Like, come on. But if it's what you guys feel you should do, then do it. If you guys really don't want to do it anymore, if you guys really just are fucking fed up with YouTube, if it's really a, a situation to where you feel like you need to leave, by all means. But just remember that there are people... In this world that give actually give a fuck about you guys. That actually give a fuck about what you guys do. And what you guys have done for so many years. People in this world like myself. And many others. Who actually watch all your videos. And you know. Get, get your guys a sense of humor. Get what you guys are doing. And love what you guys are doing. Share the same passion. There's so many people in this world. But they're so hard to find. People, people like that are like a, a needle in a haystack. It's so incredibly hard to find, but once you find one, that's a, it's a keeper. And I just want you guys to know that I'm one of those people. I seriously, I love you guys, man. Like, I don't know any of you personally. I've never communicated with you guys, but... I love you guys for really, really helping me sometimes. I, I love how much passion and stuff you guys put into it. I I don't even know, like, <laughs> how to even say it. I'm just so sad to see you guys go. And to whoever wrote the rant, I'm, I'm so sorry for you, man. If you're watching, if you're watching this man, I, I understand it's got to be so hard on you. Maybe, maybe any of the points I made, 
maybe, maybe that doesn't change your mind or anything. I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm just, I'm just letting you know that I've been here for you guys. I've watched you guys over the years. And I'm just thankful for everything you guys have done. Wherever you guys go, whatever you guys do, if you guys never upload again, if you guys disappear forever, just know that you've done good in this world. And that's all anybody can really ask for these days. So in closing, if this is going to be the end of you guys, then thank you, Dare to be Stupid Show. You guys had a hell of a run. A hell, a hell of a... However many years you guys have been on YouTube. And you guys can always look back on your content. And look at it as a good memory. Look at it as stuff that you guys put your passion into. That people actually give a fuck about. And they loved it. Look back on it as, you know what? We did good in this world. You know what? The stuff we've done has made this world better and has made people's lives better. It's made people's day. Don't look at it back on it as a negative experience because that's not good. But in closing, thank you, Dare to be Stupid Show. I'm so sorry you guys have to go. It really, it, it, it really it is just sad, man. But thank you guys so much. I guess that's all I have to say. But, uh, yeah, thank you, Dare to be Stupid Show. And thank you, whoever watched fully through this video. I appreciate you. And if by some miracle, Dare to be Stupid Show did see this video, then I guess mission accomplished. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of at a loss for words now. I think I just said everything I wanted to say, and now I'm probably going to start fucking rambling on like an idiot. So I'm just going to end this here. Thank you for uh, listening, for watching. Thank you. And thank you, Dare to be Stupid Show. Thank you. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Demo the Warrior, and I will see you later. Peace out. And thank you, Dare to Be Stupid Show. I love you guys. Goodbye.